right, what's that, Cole here, back again, with another video on the channel, and today, we are back with another Dragon Ball Legends video, and today we're going to be doing a different type of video, I would be doing another video, if it weren't for the fact that matchmaking is absolutely screwed, at least for me personally, uh, I don't know why, I'm recording this as of right now, 6.25am, uh, at my time at least obviously eastern time and i've not been able to i've been, i literally sat there for like 10 minutes trying to find a match so you know what what better time to record this type of video other than now because literally i can't play pvp at all so i wanted to do a future video but okay cool i see you legends you really want me to rant about the game so okay i will do just that all right bet watch me all right cool uh, i decided it was about time i finally do a video uh discussing my thoughts overall on the anniversary so far obviously the anniversary is not done we still haven't gotten part to if there's a part three as well we still haven't gotten that obviously the anniversary is not done but so far i'm gonna be blunt and honest it's been shit it's been complete garbage this is like the worst anniversary so far it's not even close like this doesn't feel like an anniversary like the last time i actually felt like it didn't feel like an anniversary or just in general like a celebration was the second year anniversary and that celebration wasn't really that great so the fact that this has somehow managed to top that in terms of being worse is not a good thing is absolutely mental like it's just not now keep in mind obviously maybe there's a reason to this and it might have to do something with the superhero movie delay but still it's like you could do at least a bit of a better job and all stuff and there's multiple reasons i could go on first off let me just start off with the obvious all right well somewhat obvious uh, if you want to take a while the banner the banner the fact that there was only one lf banner there was only usually for anniversary we get two step up banners obviously either we get one lf shared across both banners or just like last year last year i believe it was the first time we ever got a uh, dual lfs actually on for anniversary they didn't even do that this year this year if it, it literally this literally just feels like a monthly lf banner but they just decided to put mui goku there just because it was anniversary so like oh we'll make we'll, instead of dropping two banners we'll just put one banner but just to make up for it let's just put freaking mui goku only like one of not the most hypest unit you could ever drop in this game's history or something like that. i don't know i will say gogeta blue maybe was a bit hi more hype to me personally but like he, he's on that level you know but still this banner is not really that great the fact that there's just one banner is kind of a little little i don't know and also the fact that the banner itself is not really that great obviously like you take a look at the banner it's just like it's double rates it's double z power which is solid obviously i was hoping for triple z power and triple draw or triple uh, sparking rates and all stuff but i guess that really just was a one-time thing i felt like honestly it wouldn't surprise me that they they felt like they messed up with that, that legends fest banner that that legends fest banner was easily the best value banner like ever or something like that one of the best valued banners ever in a gacha game at least that i have seen like the fact that you could just pull like one unit and you would get them instantly like 1800 z power which if you didn't have the unit at all you would get them f four stars automatically you just be able to z power them so easily it was just ridiculous 1200 is still fine but still like you even look at the featured units it's like this is this is an H chief and in terms of new units i will say mui goku they did a solid job on i feel like at least ui goku compared to last year he de he's definitely a lot better like obviously last year super saiyan 4 gogeta came out he was the headline anniversary and he didn't really feel that special like in terms of actual like how good he was and all that obviously he was pretty hype and all that but he just didn't really impact the meta that heavily honestly he wasn't really the greatest ever like he was okay when he came out but yeah at least ui goku though this time around he's actually very very good i wouldn't say he's on the level of like vegito blue when he initially came out during the second anniversary but he's definitely very very good for sure you easily like i would say a top three you in the game honestly at this point so they did a solid job with mui goku for sure i will definitely take that vegeta is okay he's okay honestly like, he's okay he coming from me that i'm at 14 stars he's okay he could have been made better i feel like he could have been a revival unit i mentioned this in my game press tier list video i feel like he would have been better if he was a revival unit simple as that like even in a super saiyan form he's a defense type unit and it he just gets killed a lot of time like i've even the amount of times i've fought against opponents that have that vegeta and i just one combo them before they even get the transform is actually ridiculous so there's that but the banner overall is just not that great honestly then we go to the second most obvious thing is the most recent addition to the anniversary that and vegeta blue zenkai this raid right here this raid now granted at the time of recording this they did actually do uh something did they actually put in the news actually uh some changes or some adjustments that they were going to be doing to the raid which i actually 
I think they actually did do at least some of them. They basically uh, added some extra missions where you can now get, I believe, up to a thousand extra raid medals, and then also you can get, I believe, 300 Hoi Boy coins. Uh, where the hell? Daily gift campaign. Wait, wait, now nah, we, we need to read this on camp. What is this? Wait, wait. What the hell? Huh? Log in the. Uh, get a get what? So. Wait, where's my crystals though? Hey, yo, nah, nah, nah. We, we need to cover this on camera. Give me my crystals. Where's my crystal? I right, anyways, but okay, that's that's a thing apparently. Okay, cool. But but basically in the news they put something about the event because the amount of uh, feedback or backlash that they got for the anniversary raid. Uh, you want to load, please? Thank you. Thank. You. Okay, anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, they made some adjustments. Uh, here it is. Uh, regarding the anniversary rolled raid, yeah. Uh, <laughs> basically they added these missions and I believe they updated the exchange shop lineup and then they also extended the event to make it last longer. Let me see if that actually did take place. Is, this, is there like a timer or whatnot? Yeah, so there's 11 days left while before it would, it would probably say four days left at this point if it was still supposed to end at the normalized time before they extended it. So at least now for every player out there, you do have more time in order to be able to grind all the metals you need and all stuff and be able to get what you would hopefully want from the exchange shop and all stuff. I know a lot of people are obviously wanting to get the uh, the LFZ power, obviously, which I'm still trying to get that myself. I am currently sitting at, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I think I'm what? 2500 medals. So I just need about another 500 medals at least to get the 600 LFC power. So I'll take it. But yeah, but this raid is just stupidly designed. The fact that it is so pay to win. The fact that you need the new characters in order to be able to like get a good amount of raid medals and be able to have an actual solid chance of being able to farm enough to get all the stuff you want from the exchange shop is actually ridiculous the fact that keep, all right keep this in mind we, we go over here i believe this tells us more in detail kind of somewhat basically the way it works is if you have mui goku at two or three stars or whatever he gives you an extra 10 medals or plus 10 um, medals to your drops obviously so he gives you an extra 10 medals if you have my nine stars he gives you an extra 50 nine stars and he gives you an extra 50 and then if you have a six stars i believe he does increase the drop rate by 40 percent so at that point you obviously it will be less common for you to actually get runs where you don't get any medals at all but again you have to have them at six stars like they are begging for you to summon on the banner and then even like vegeta like vegeta at six stars he gives you an extra three medals but then at nine stars he gives you an extra 10 medals and at the very least vegeta is a bit more easier to z power up just because of normal sparking but still like that's ridiculous and also if you have the new EXs, you have to have them at six stars by the way in order for them to actually do anything for you in terms of increasing your drop rates they give you an extra five medals whoa so crazy and then the free to play units you have to have them 14 stars in order to give you an extra three medals and also the thing about these free to play units is you're not able to get them 14 stars as of right now unless you beat full power battle which obviously i was able to beat it because i have the new units but even for me even for me i had all the new units and it was still a bit uh troublesome for me it was i actually kind of struggled with it i'm not gonna lie so the fact that i kind of struggled with it and the fact that like it, the thing is about full power battle i could go on a whole rant video by itself of full power battle but it's just very dependent on the new characters and obviously if a lot of players don't have the new characters and all that they're not going to be able to beat the event most likely or it's going to be very tough for them to do so which means you won't be able to 14 star the new units which means you won't be able to get the extra drop rates from the raid medals and just yeah it's just a whole mess like th this raid and also full power battle just in general is just a not the best mode ever it's pretty bad honestly but this raid was just stupidly designed hopefully that feedback that they got is enough to hopefully make it a lot better for the next upcoming raids we get because i'm pretty sure we are going to be getting some more raids throughout the anniversary they did mention it themselves during the reveals and stuff but still this raid is just absolutely just it's stupid it is absolutely stupid but it is what it is i don't know and also just in general the, the amount of events like uh, like there's not many events overall i mean we do have this event i will say this event is actually pretty good i do like these story events that they do for the fourth for, for just and just in general for all the anniversaries this event i think is a dub this this event is always cool like there's a cool little storyline and they always do these cool uh, cut scenes towards the end of the event that they put quite a bit of effort into so it, this event i think is a good thing it's just the other ones like it's just there's not much to do you have that event then you have the free to play units which i will say the free to play units are definitely very good we still haven't gotten these super saiyan gogeta which i think we are getting at the time of recording this again the next week from now so we should finally get him and hopefully 
he's actually good especially for that character we've which we've been wanting for years that specific gogeta i hope he's good i beg he's good but we shall see uh but the free-to-play units like it's fine it's just at, at the very least i will say this at least this time around even if you don't beat full power battle you can still get the, the free-to-play units 14 stars it's just gonna take longer it kind of does suck though as of right now because obviously you would want to have them you want you would want to have them 14 stars sorry in order for the raid so you can get those extra drop rates for the uh, or the extra uh, medals obviously for the raid obviously but if you're not able to beat full power battle you're not able to get them 14 stars as of right now so you can get them 14 stars over the course of time i believe like it'll take multiple days it'll probably take an extra week or a little bit more or whatever to get them 14 stars through this event but at, at the very least you're able to get them 14 stars still even even if you don't beat full power battle while a lot of other times if you didn't beat full power battle you just straight up wouldn't get them 14 stars like i believe like the free to play super saiyan trunks we got which was the last free to play unit we got before anniversary uh that trunks you could not 14 star unless you beat full power battle like when they do that that is actually the stupidest thing ever yeah it's just i don't know and then also this event this i hate dude i hate this event not because it's difficult it's supposed to be a difficult event i can see how it can be difficult if you especially if you don't have the new characters maybe it can be a bit of a struggle but it's not the most difficult thing ever at least for me obviously because i have the new characters but i don't know if this is really the most difficult thing ever it's just more so my issue is the fact that if you don't beat the stage the very day that it gets you have you're available to play it you will never be able to play it ever again we'll see how they handle it maybe by the time the event ends maybe they'll have all the stages available for you to play but as of right now for instance if you extreme battle 14 if you don't play the stage and actually beat it today it'll move on to stage 15 and you will never be able to touch stage 14 ever again which means you will miss out on the rewards obviously being the uh, this equipment which is crappy you have to awaken obviously in order for it to actually be solid but then obviously this ticket which is the 10 percent uh legends limited ticket that obviously that you can get you you won't be able to get that ever again like it, why i feel like they should just have all the stages there and then just unlock them one by one but keep this the prior stages there so that way players can actually go back to them and actually like still get those rewards like i don't know we'll see how they handle this event as the anniversary goes on but as of right now i don't like the design for this event this event is i'm not a fan of it honestly i'm just not a fan of it and then yeah that's pretty much it it's just yeah i, I don't know it's oh it's just yeah it's just ridiculous and also co-op i mean co-op is okay co-op is is okay honestly but this one obviously in order to get extra hoi poi coins you have to freaking have the characters that certain like star levels and you have to have all the characters yeah i don't know i could yeah it's just anniversary is just oh it's just this is the worst anniversary so far again hopefully for part two maybe when we get i don't know superhero units if we actually do get superhero units i feel like there's a decent chance we do actually get some new superhero uh characters obviously maybe like ultimate gohan for the superhero movie or ultimate piccolo or freaking trunks and goten or uh, Ga uh, maybe another gamma one and two i don't know uh, maybe whoever the main villain in the movie is i know who the main villain of the movie is but i don't want to say it just in case for anyone who doesn't know yet and doesn't want to get spoiled but still yeah uh i don't know i don't know or maybe the next the ultra we get for part two or three i don't know just hopefully the anniversary gets better on from uh here on out oh yeah vegeto blue zenkai vegeto blue zenkai will say he could have been better he could have been better yes but i think he's fine i think they honestly did a fine job with him he's good but he's not broken but he's good enough at least to the point where he's actually fun to use and can and can work very effectively in this meta honestly i think honestly the more i have used them i know a lot of people will probably say that oh I, like sort of trunks is better maybe but as of right now i actually am probably leaning more towards vegeto blue actually being the best blue for future honestly i like he is very good he is very good again they didn't do too much with him they gave him good stats i will say his stats are very good the fact that he has blast armor his green cards very good as well but other than that they didn't really do much like his his new unique abilities do absolutely nothing for him so there's that but he's still a very good unit overall and keep in mind he doesn't have his plot equipped yet so he can still get that but as of right now i think he's actually pretty solid definitely not the best i love zankai for sure i definitely think uh super saiyan blue vegeta is still better but there's that but i think they did a solid job with him they did an okay job with him he could have been better but he's not too bad he's he's good but not broken so i honestly think they did a, a decent job with him so i'll take it i like him uh but yeah other than that there's not really much else to talk about honestly unless i'm forgetting something else about the anniversary i guess dragon i mean dragon balls 
Oh, oh yeah, the fact that. Well, I don't know if I have to really mention this. I don't know. Like, obviously, these missions, I guess, where you have to farm uh, the metals. Oh, I'm close to getting that. I might, I might farm that. I'm not going to lie. I might. Uh, wait, I didn't want to go there. Oh, my God. Anyways, but yeah, those missions, they're fine. I guess I don't know. It's going to take time, obviously, to complete those. Unless you just want absolutely no life co-op, then be my guest. But yeah, I don't know. Overall, the anniversary, again, like I said, is just... Is okay it could be a lot better the, the, the devs are definitely uh fumbling very hardcore on this one but it is what it is i don't know hopefully things get better on uh with part two and potentially part three if they even do one we shall see but uh yeah there's that's really all i need to talk about uh, again i mainly did this video just because a lot of other people have been doing this types this type of video just ranting on i thought might as well join in on the fun i guess and also the fact that legends clearly doesn't want me to play right now and do another video because matchmaking for me is just absolutely fucked so there's that so hopefully you enjoy this video instead i guess for today and uh with that being said i will see y'all in the next one definitely make sure to click down below if you enjoyed this video and also let me know what you guys think about the anniversary so far my thoughts on it in the comment section down below and also if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been watching for a while but haven't subscribed yet i would definitely recommend subscribing it would be very much appreciated we're trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the anniversary so let's see if we can actually hit that but that being said i guess i'll just wrap up the video now since there's not really much else to say so i'll see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one y'all